Hello and welcome into the Devil's Detail post-game show. I'm Hunter Robinson, joined alongside Zach McHale and Sam Ficaro. Obviously, tonight's game did not turn out on the side of ASU. Guys, what were y'all's biggest takeaways from tonight's blowout loss, you can say? Zach, I'll start with you. Well, I'm going to go with momentum right out of the gate. ASU's down 28-26, to 26, roughly 10 minutes left in the third quarter. They have now two big opportunities to get off the field on third down. They commit pass interference on both in both situations. Can't get off the field. Leads to a first and 35, which they also can't convert, uh, can't defend. And Utah scores a touchdown and ultimately pulls away, goes up by nine, and never looks back. So I'm figuring ASU is able to convert, get off the field maybe one of those two occasions. They're looking, they're driving back downfield with a chance to go back ahead. And then Sam, what's your biggest takeaway from tonight's game? I think it's just the first quarter. It was the failure to capitalize off takeaways. Where they got very fortunate on the first play of the game, Utah's Troy Williams dropped the snap. ASU recovered. Short field, then Manny Wilkins just threw the ball too late. He saw a receiver open in the middle of the end zone, but he just threw too late. The DB read it and it picked him off. So it's just it was a failure to capitalize on turns. They were up 13-0 after the first, but then Utah really turned it on in the second. They outscored them 21-7. And also it became a game when ASU could have really put the pressure on Utah. It really could have made them one-dimensional. And then, so next week they travel to Seattle, Washington. That is looking at being a very, very tough game. They're going to go up against presumably a number four Washington. I mean, you know, a playoff team uh, currently. So do you think that it's time for ASU to start worrying about bowl eligibility? I mean, they're 5-5. Five and five. They started out the season 5-1. and one. They have two games left. And it's, like I said, at Seattle against the number four team in the country. And after that, they go to the University of Arizona in a rivalry game, which that's no easy task either. Well, I'd like to be optimistic and say that they have a chance in Seattle, but realistically, they don't. Washington has by far been the best team in the conference all season long. I think they're going to lose in Washington, continue the longest losing streak in Todd Graham's career as a Sun Devil head coach. And again... Territorial Cup is always a toss. The last three years it's been decided and the home team has won. So I do think there's a possibility we see ASU finish the season on a six-game losing streak after that promising 5-1 and one start. But don't get discouraged. This is a very young team, and I think they have a lot of potential going forward even if the season does not end in a bowl game. And then, Sam, finally, I know that Todd Graham in the postgame press conference talked about Nikhil Harry and what he means to this team. I mean, he is a true freshman, yet he's been the number two receiver and then at times the number one receiver if Tim White has been able to get going. What did uh, Graham say specifically in the postgame press conference about Nikhil Harry? Well, he's very impressed by his, mature, his maturation. That's something Manny Wilkins really point out. That for a younger team, he's very confident, but he's humble at the same time. And I think like that's really important, especially he was such a highly touted recruit coming here. So, like, unfortunately, his numbers haven't been as consistent just because of the quarterback carousel. But once he gets consistent from the quarterback position, he will come through. Um, he has the ability to make it. Like, he made some spectacular catch day. Like, he was weaving through the defense on that amazing touchdown run. So he definitely has like a special ability that ASU doesn't have really. And with Tim White being a senior, they, they will be heavily relying on him in the years to come. So but I feel like once they have consistency from quarterback, he could really shine as a star receiver. All righty. Well, that is going to do it for the Devils in Detail pregame slash postgame show for this season. Um, so ASU traveling to Seattle, Washington next week, then traveling to the University of Arizona. Again, the Sun Devils right now are currently sitting at 5-5. Five and five. If they drop these last two games, it will be the first time that they have not made a bowl game in six seasons. So we'll see what happens. For Devils Detail, I'm Hunter Robinson. That's Zach McHale. That's Sam Ficaro. Thanks for joining us, and make sure to keep up to date on everything going on at devilsindetail.com.